Hey, how's everybody doing out there? It's January 1st, 2019, so Happy New Year to everybody. Hope you're doing well. January 1st, so beginning of the year, I like to do a full uh, maintenance on the appliances and the fresh water uh, system on my truck camper. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I do that. Um, if you haven't seen my video on the freshwater uh, port that I, the freshwater tank clean out port that I put in my uh, 55 gallon freshwater tank. Uh, you can see that video right up here. I'll post a link to it, a card to it right here. And uh, you can check that one out. Just makes cleaning out the tank, the freshwater tank, so much easier. Uh, you can get in there and really disinfect it and uh, make sure that you've got a, a, a clean, disinfected freshwater holding tank. While I'm uh, in there cleaning the freshwater tank, I also like to clean the uh, screen filter on my water pump. And I do this uh, a couple, two or three times a year, clean that little um, screen filter on the, on the water pump just to keep it operating uh, the way it should. Uh, a little bit less wear and tear on it if you keep that thing clean a few times a year, especially if you're not running a filter, which you should be uh, running a filter on your freshwater intake hose. But um, if, if you're not, clean it more often and um, disinfect your tank more often. So the first thing I'll do is um, show you some of the tools that I use to uh, clean out the uh, freshwater tank. First thing you're gonna need is uh, just a little bit of household bleach, um, the, the regular, bleach not scented or anything like that uh, you'll need a quarter of a cup for every 15 gallons of fresh water so if you're gonna if you've got a 50 gallon tank um, you know you're gonna need uh, a, about a cup a little bit less than a cup of bleach and um, what I'll do is generally I'll fill my tank up about quarter of the way I'll put about 15 gallons in and I'll put a quarter of a cup of bleach in there slosh it around really well, uh, clean the sides with a rag that's been soaked in that same water and bleach, uh, scrub it really good. Uh, one of the great things about having that, that port that I put in, the clean out port on the top is that you can really get in there and clean the top and the bottom and the sides, the intake, the drain and all that stuff. My freshwater tank is really uh, easily accessible. It's under this step panel here. Uh, the obviously I've, I've got a raised floor on this camper I have the basement model so this tank in this compartment goes quite a ways down but there's just four screws on this plywood panel that's covered in carpet and uh, that lifts out and you have access to the water tank so uh, in my case I have the the port uh, for the clean out here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this panel get the bleach put in and uh, get the inside of the tank uh, scrubbed out really well. Run the, uh, the pump, get all of the uh, bleach solution into the water heater, turn on the faucets and get it going through all of the things like the hose going up to the pump, through the filter, the lines going to each faucet and the shower. And I'll even you know, run a little bit through the uh, toilet as well, just to make sure that all of the lines the water lines themselves are disinfected. But this year, uh, I'm gonna go one step further. So I'm going to, since I have the clean out on the fresh water tank, I'm going to run a uh, pipe cleaner. It's just one of these uh, stiff bristle brushes that you do, uh, that you get for uh, like an aquarium uh, or uh, uh, auto paint uh, hoses and stuff like that and um, just a, a nylon flexible uh, fishing tape. So for you know fishing wires down the wall or something like that, it's super flexible. I'm gonna run this through the freshwater uh, inlet pipe from the tank to the pump. And it's about a six foot hose. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that, uh, take the fitting off, the screen filter off, and run this thing all the way through there and get it good and get good and scrubbed on the inside of the hose. Okay, so my pump is off. Uh, I do have water in my fresh water tank. I've got water in my water heater. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and just let the pressure off by turning on the faucets in the camper. Release all the pressure from the lines with the pump off and uh, get that, that screen filter off. I'm just going to leave that hose off of the pump and run this uh, little bottle brush up through there and until I can see it come out this other end from the from the freshwater tank up to where it meets the pump at the uh, filter screen. Okay, so my water pump is, there's the sink, it's actually right under here. Access is through this cabinet here. So there's the water pump. And this guy right here, this little clear plastic piece, that's the screen filter. This is the water line that comes in from the fresh water tank. And the outlet line is this guy here. All right, so I'll get these four screws taken out, lift this panel out, and uh, get the bleach put in, run it through the system. Slides out fairly easily. There's my port. Of course, you've got all your connections for your uh, the fresh water, the holding tank level meter, um, and uh, all those sensors are on the side of the tank. So I'm going to go ahead and get this off, get the uh, bleach poured in, slosh it around a little bit, run it through the system, and uh, drain it. I'll give you a little bit better view of what's going on here. This sucker's tight. Oh, there we go. And uh, now is a good time to inspect, you know, all the seals and uh, everything around the the freshwater tank, just to make sure that nothing's leaked or is leaking. All these seals, I've checked this recently, and I know that these seals are uh, are just fine. So, but uh, whenever you're doing any maintenance on the tank, it's always good to check all the seals and everything. So now is probably a good time to check all of your fill lines and drain lines for leaks uh, and cracks and uh, the condition of everything. So this is the um, this is my fill hose. This is where from the outside of the camper I fill my fresh water tank. Um, this line down here, the white hose, is the hose that goes to the water pump. And then, well you can probably see down there right in the center of the screen that's where the the uh, water goes to the water pump and then this guy over on this side is the drain uh, hose so check all everything to make sure that there haven't been any leaks or that it's not leaking you would be able to tell because well I've got half a tank of water right now and you know vacuum out any spider webs or dust or anything like that that uh, might have accumulated. All right, so I've got this uh, this old cup uh, that I keep on my uh, bleach bottle, just like that. And um, it's got marks for a uh, quarter cup, half cup, three quarters of a cup, and then a, a full one cup, 250 milliliters. Uh, at this top line. So I know that uh, I have a 50 gallon tank. Um, when, when this is full, it's 50 gallons plus my six gallons uh, when the water, the hot water tank is full. Uh, so I've got 56 gallons of fresh water on board. Um, so this being 50 gallons, I can put in, um, you remember you need to put in uh, a quarter of a cup for every 15 gallons. So uh, this is about 30 gallons, so I can fill this up uh, to a half a cup line and pour this in, slosh it around, run it through the lines, and uh, that's the perfect mixture for disinfecting your fresh water, um, the fresh water tank and lines. Uh, and then, of course, we drain everything out, flush it really well a couple, two or three times, and um, make sure that uh, you get all of the the bleach and water mixture out of the lines before you go and refill with you know, fresh water before a trip. I'll get this just to the half cup line. Be careful not to spill on your 
clothes or carpet. So we've got a half a cup right on the line. Pour that right in. Slosh it around. Put that back in the sink. And now I'm going to uh, slosh that around a little bit, run my pump, get all of the, uh, the lines flushed until I smell bleach, and uh, just let that set for 20 minutes and disinfect everything. 20 minutes to half an hour or something like that. Get my pump going. You'll hear it pressurize the system. Once it's done pressurizing the system, you can turn the uh, faucets on and let it run until you smell the bleach. Just about done. Shut off here in a second. And shut off. I can go ahead and turn the pump off and run this water for a bit. Just run this until we smell bleach. It doesn't take very long, I can smell it already. Shut that off and let it sit. Actually, I'm gonna run the, uh, the, the bathroom sink line and the uh, toilet and the shower line too until I smell bleach. And then I'll let it sit for about a half hour or so. All right, so I wanna show, show you guys a easy way to do this <clears throat> so that you don't have to take this hose off of the this piece here you don't have to take this clamp off if you can see that I had to change the lens and get the fish eye back on there but <clears throat> this is two separate pieces this uh, this filter the strainer and um, this backside comes off make sure that you release all the pressure out of the system by opening up all the faucets before you do this so you're gonna have a mess put a little bit of a towel down because there is still some water in this uh, strainer but uh, you can turn this there's two little thumb it's almost like a wing nut this back part and it just comes unclipped if you turn it like that this piece comes off so now that is away from the strainer you can get it out of the way and uh, unscrew this guy from the filter. I've had this off before to clean it, but and it's it's about 20 turns to get it off of the uh, water pump. Make sure that you've got your towel under there. This drains a little bit of water and there's your screen filter. I'm going to take this in the house and clean it. The only thing I do is just kind of scrub it with a, a brush really lightly on this screen and uh, run some water through it. I'll put this all back together and then uh, continue running the, the bleach through the system and, and rinsing everything. Pretty tight quarters in there. So this, um, I, I clean, take this thing off and clean it about every three months and um, just to keep the water pump working properly it's more efficient if you keep this clean it doesn't take much for it for this to get clogged up and then your pump will start acting funny um, it won't uh, stop cycling it'll just keep running it won't build up pressure um, and if you can't pressurize the system and that pumps running all the time uh, it'll burn the pump out because they're you know the duty cycle is uh, intermittent it's not not meant to run all the time so um, the uh, the flow direction <clears throat> is this way and then out this to the pump. So the pump usually sits right here. This is that little piece that I took off. So the fresh water tank, uh, the fresh water comes in from the tank through here, gets filtered in this little screen. There's just, uh, I don't know if you can see, a, the few little particles in there just, just in the uh, couple of months amount of time that that was in there. And uh, it can really accumulate and, and clog up the pump or clog up the screen and it'll uh, prevent the pump from running efficiently. Take this in and clean it out, put it all back together and uh, uh, of course uh, run the system clean uh, to get all the bleach out. Okay I got the uh, that screen clean. 
clean screen. Get this uh, put back together. Okay, so I've been draining this tank, and you can see there's just about a about an inch of water left in there. It's still draining a little bit out the out the drain there, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get my little scrub brush and my towel and uh, scrub the sides and the top and everything really well. All right, so I wanted to show you one more kind of convenient thing about having that uh, that clean out port that deck that deck plate port on the uh, fresh water tank is you know if you're out uh, boondocking or uh, wild camping someplace and you want to get some fresh water into your fresh water tank um, sometimes it's a pain to have to lift your big jugs of water especially on a truck camper because it, the fill is so far up off the ground you know you got to lift your your big jug of of water you know almost up way up above your head and you know hold that in there while it drains into the water tank um, sometimes it's not great conditions it could be dumping rain or snowing or you know you know maybe it's 120 degrees out it kind of depends on where you're boondocking but um, with the uh, deck plate let me show you here how uh, easy this is to fill your water tank so with the uh, the deck plate open you can take your I've got just these uh, five gallon water fresh water jugs here and uh, pop open the air vent might be a good idea if you you know aren't too confident about getting the, the water in there uh, first try put some towels down but uh, you can take your jug there you go five gallons in about 40 seconds Okay, I'm going to run some of that fresh water through the system, get the uh, bleach out of the lines, and uh, f drain the tank again, fill, uh, put another you know, five gallons in, and uh, flush the lines one more time, and then again, put uh, a little bit more fresh water in, and uh, fill the, water, the uh, hot water tank for the uh, water heater, get it all filled up and flushed with uh, clean water as well. So just a note here about uh, cleaning out the the hose from the tank to the pump uh, using this little brush. In my case it's not going to work. It might be different uh, for some uh, others RVs. My freshwater tank has a 90 degree uh, nipple on the end of it and uh, of course I can't get this through there so I could feed it through from the the pump side down but I don't want to push more gunk into the fresh water tank so uh, I, I looked at the hose I mean it's clean so uh, th this was just going to be you know one step further that I could take it to really clean the inside of the hose out not needed not necessary at all and um, which is good in my case because it was a, a failure <laughs> it would work but I don't know, it might work for some of you people out there that've got, uh, you know, just a straight line coming out of your fresh water tank. You can, you know, ream that hose out with one of these brushes, get it good and clean. Hey, that's just about done draining there. That's the uh, first flush of uh, fresh water through the, through the drain hose. I'm going to go ahead and close this up, put another five gallons in and pressurize the system get everything out of the lines to the faucets. Quick five gallons. Okay, so now we can uh, turn the pump on and, and uh, prime the system. I'm gonna check for leaks uh, where I took off that uh, screen filter and um, you know anything underneath where uh, I touched any of the water lines. Okay. System's primed, check for leaks, everything looks good, my hand is dry. You reach back there and kind of feel everything and uh, you know, a good flashlight, good bright flashlight helps. Yeah. So if you uh, have a, you know any better ideas on how to clean the freshwater system, I know there's a lot of really bright people out there that uh, have a lot more experience than I do. Um, I, I, you know, pe people that uh, full-time RV, pick up on these little things. If you uh, have a better idea on how to do this, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. And uh, you know, if you have any uh, 
you know, other little ideas or uh, quick tips on, on how to clean the pump or anything like that, let me know. I, I love to uh, hear that kind of stuff. And anything that makes life easier uh, when you're out in the RV is, uh, you know, a plus. So less time you have to do on maintenance, uh, the more time you get to spend out uh, camping in nature. So anyway, uh, again, Happy New Year to everybody out there. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Uh, click the bell if you want to get uh, notified when I upload a new video. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.